Something crazy happened to my pecan and I need to tell you and it involves a heartbeat. But first we gotta get one thing out the way. If you say pecan, you're on team Jess. If you say pecan, you're on team what are you talking about? Okay, so the crazy thing that happened to my pecan was that I found a little bug on it and if you're at all familiar with this page, we do not throw bugs out. We keep them, we grow them and we go through the life stages together. So I have faith that you understand just how excited I am. I really need to get the iPhone 14 because the zooming is apparently a lot better, but this is the little guy with the 13 Pro Max. I can't believe just like the strawberry bug, we found another little friend to grow. So you know what I had to do. Instead of focusing on growing this pecan, I got a bowl of oats which will act as the bed for our little friend literally sprinted to fill it up i didn't add it to our bigger grow box because i don't want the bigger bugs to eat it but i think it'll be really cool to pinpoint the different life cycle stages that the bug goes through before turning into an adult green beetle yeah it'll be green it's either a grub worm or an indian meal moth larvae both of those breeds have a white body with a brown head but that is the beauty of the cycle of life you never know what it'll turn into until you actually go through it or grow through it. And I can't believe I almost forgot that I was supposed to grow these pecans, but I guess that'll have to be in another video. Something about pecan trees that is actually pretty cool is that the trees grow up to 130 feet tall, which is like 26 people in a vertical line up to the sky. And if you do want to grow pecans at home, you need to be in zones five through nine, and then you can grow them. Plus, once you grow a pecan tree and it reaches maturity, they can literally outlive me at 150 years old. Yeah, pecan trees can last over 100 50 years probably more than that and it's honestly very cool because pecans aren't actually a nut they're a fruit and just like almonds they live inside of a droop and a droop is just a fruit that's classified as having a pit that contains a seed inside of some sort of harder outer shell so unlike peanuts where they're considered a legume because they grow underground, I think pecans are so cool because they actually have a fruit that kind of resembles a peach or a plum and you can eat it. And then once you eat it, the inside pit is where you can reveal your pecan after cracking it open. Anyway, back to the worm. I'm so excited to grow this. Also tell me what you think we should name this one, but let's see what happens to this little bug. Ugh. 